going to solve a problem on how to draw the Nyquist plot of the system and how we can check the stability of a system using the Nyquist criteria. So let's take a problem. Okay. So our problem is that the closed loop system is given to us which is having the open loop transfer function as gs hs equals to 1 upon s s minus 1 and we have to determine the stability of the system using the Nyquist stability criterion. Okay. So let's try to solve this problem. First, we will put S equals to J omega in this transfer function so that we will be able to find out the G J omega and H J omega that is the frequency response of the system. So put S equals to J omega in the transfer function. Okay, so putting here, we will get G, J, Omega, H, J, Omega. Okay, so we have obtained the frequency response of the system. Okay, now from this frequency response, obtain the magnitude and the phase angle of this g j omega h j omega. So magnitude, it is represented by m. So magnitude is represented by m and given by g j omega h j omega. Okay. And how we can calculate it? m will be here the omega okay and this is j omega minus 1 so it will be under root of omega square plus 1 okay so this is the magnitude mark it as equation number 1 and now we will find out the phase angle of gj omega hj omega so phase angle it is represented by phi It will be here we have 1 so it will be tan inverse of 0 upon 1 because here imaginary part is 0 only real part is present so it will become 0 for the numerator. Now for the denominator we are going to have minus tan inverse of omega upon 0 minus tan inverse of omega upon minus 1 okay because this is tan inverse of omega upon 0 and this is tan inverse of omega upon because it is minus 1 whole square okay so minus 1 whole square it will become 1 but here it will be omega upon minus 1 because of this so our phase angle will be tan inverse of omega upon minus 1. Now simplify it we will have minus tan inverse of omega upon 0 that is infinity so it will be minus 90 degrees minus tan inverse of omega upon minus 1. So we can compare this line in the second quadrant that is x minus 
minus x plus i y. Okay. So in this case, when the complex number it is of this form, then the phase angle is given by pi minus tan inverse of y upon x. Okay. Y is what here? Omega. Okay. So this will become pi minus tan inverse of omega upon y. Simplify it. We will get minus 90 degrees minus pi plus tan inverse of omega. So phi will be minus 270 degrees. Pi is 180 degrees. So 180, 90 degrees, 270 degrees plus tan inverse of omega. Mark this equation as second. So using this first equation, first equation was for magnitude and second equation is for the phase angle. So using these two equations, we are going to form a table and then we will plot the polar plot. So in this table, we will vary the value of this omega from 0 to infinity and for the various values of omega, we are going to find out the magnitude and the phase angle. First, take the value of omega is 0 and uh, infinity. Okay, from 0 to infinity, we are going to take different values. Let us suppose 0 0.5, 1, 2, and 5. We have taken these six values. Now, we are going to calculate the magnitude at the phase. Magnitude, we have the equation as this. So, putting omega equals to 0, 1 upon 0 will be infinity so magnitude will be infinity for omega equals to 0 here putting omega 0 so it will become minus 270 degrees plus tan inverse of 0 degrees so tan inverse of 0 it will be 0 so the phase angle will be minus 270 degrees 0 0.5 putting in the magnitude equation 1 upon 0 0.5 under root of 0 0.5 square plus minus 1 square. So the magnitude comes out to be 1.8 and here tan inverse of 0 0.5 so the phase angle will be minus 243 degrees. Similarly for other values calculate m n phi. So for omega equals to 1 for omega equals to 2 And for omega equals to 5. Okay. Now omega equals to infinity magnitude will be 0. Because 1 upon infinity it will become 0. And here tan inverse of infinity 90 degrees. So minus 270 plus 90 it will be minus 180 degrees. So we have got the m in 5 for different values of omega. Now let's plot the polar plot for this system because polar plot it is the plot of the magnitude and the phase on the polar coordinates where we are varying the value of omega from 0 to infinity. So let's plot the polar plot for this system. This is the imaginary axis and it is the real axis. Okay. Divide the real axis on the basis of the magnitude because magnitude we are going to plot on the uh, real axis. So it is 0, Okay, now from the table see that for omega equals to 0, the magnitude is infinity and phase angle is minus 270 degrees. So minus 270 degree we have 0 degrees, this is plus 90, 
माइनस वन एटी दिस इज माइनस नाइंटी डिग्री सो जीरो माइनस नाइंटी माइनस वन एटी माइनस टू सेवेंटी डिग्री ओके सो मेगा इक्वल्स टू जीरो मैग्नीट्यूट इन्फिनिटी माइनस टू सेवेंटी डिग्री सो इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर ओके द पोलर प्लॉट omega equals to 0.5 magnitude 1.8 phase angle minus 243 degrees so minus 243 degrees mark here always remember that the negative phase angle in the polar plot is measured in this direction that is clockwise Okay, we are measuring it in this direction. So minus two forty three degrees, it will come here. Okay, for omega equals to one, magnitude is zero point seven one, phase angle is minus two twenty five degrees. So draw the angle minus two twenty five degrees, then minus two hundred and six, then minus one ninety one. This is minus one ninety one degree minus two hundred and six point six degrees. Okay, this is for omega equals to omega equals to five. And for omega equals to infinity, the magnitude is zero and the phase angle is minus one eighty degrees. So omega equals to zero will be here. For omega equals to five, phase angle is minus one ninety one and the magnitude is zero point zero four. So it is somewhat here zero point zero four. Then for the zero point five. We have one point eight, zero point seven one, zero point two two. So mark all these points, okay? We have marked all the points. Join these points so that we will obtain the polar plot. This was for omega equals to zero. Magnitude was infinity. so this is the polar plot of the system starting from okay coming from this direction omega equals to 0 and coming on omega equals to infinity okay now draw the mirror image of this polar plot so that we will obtain the nyquist plot of the system so mirror image will be this is the mirror image of the polar plot and here we are having the point minus 1 plus j0 so to check the stability we have to see that what are the number of encirclements of this point minus 1 plus j0 okay this was our nyquist plot of gs hs transfer function was 1 upon s s minus 1 okay so to check the stability we will now see the encirclement encirclement we have one encirclement here and as this encirclement is in clockwise direction okay so if the encirclement is in clockwise direction we have to take it as negative so it will be minus 1 one encirclement in clockwise direction so n will be equals to minus 1 so to check the stability we have n equals to p minus z and here n is equals to plus 1 uh, sorry minus 
because there is one encirclement of point minus 1 plus j0 in clockwise direction. Okay, so n is equals to minus 1. Now p, it is equals to 1 because transfer function is given to us as gs hs equals to 1 upon s, s minus 1. So poles are s equals to 0, s equals to 1. s equals to 1 is the pole which is lying on the right half of the s plane. This is the s plane and this is s equals to 1. It is a pole. Okay. So as it is lying on the right half of the s plane, so p will be equals to 1. Now putting n equals to minus 1 and p equals to 1 here, so z will come out to be 2. Okay. Because z will be equals to p minus n, p minus n, n is minus 1, p is 1, 1 plus 1, it is 2. So the system is if z is not equals to 0, okay, then the system is unstable, okay, because system is having z equals to 2, so system is unstable, okay. So, in this way, using the Nyquist criteria, we have find out the stability of the system. So, I hope this problem is clear to you. Thank you.